All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We got the last week of NFL preseason to jump into today. And somehow, some way, we are up over three and a half units in the preseason so far. Thanks to the spin the parlay, which we are three and one on. If you don't know what that is, guys, it's just the shorts that we post on the channel here. We also post them on Instagram. We get a random NFL team generator and we parlay two teams money line. Somehow, some way, we are three and one in that. But uh, yeah, we're up three and a half units nonetheless guys in today's video we're going to be jumping into the thursday and friday games that's august 25th and 26th we've got six games that we're going to jump into i have at least one play in each game or at least where i'm thinking the game's gonna go here but make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment for the final plays we're recording this a couple days in advance so make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment if any lines change or any updates to plays anything like that make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment and before we do get into the games guys i'm these guys who smash that subscribe button we are grinding and we're on our way towards 11,000 subscribers and i cannot thank you guys enough so please hit that subscribe button and if you do feel generous make sure to find that thanks button below the video as well you guys can click that and uh send a generous tip or anything like that if you do feel like you want to support us in our journey here as we go through this nfl season but uh yeah nonetheless guys let's jump right into it we do have some housekeeping and some more stuff to plug we'll do that halfway through the video so uh we might as well jump into game one on the slate here we have the green bay packers taking on taking on taking on i just turned into some hick or something we got the green bay packers taking on the kansas city chiefs in this one the line opened up at kansas city minus one is now kansas city plus one and the live line on the total is 35 and a half as of right now now, I'll say this, we know that this is preseason, and it's a different preseason, only three preseason weeks now. We don't know how teams are going to play this last week. Are they gonna play them like they usually do? Because when we had four preseason weeks, this was the week where the starters played a good chunk of the game. Who knows what's gonna happen there? You know, again, this is preseason football. I give you guys that transparency every single video, and I tell you, hey, it's preseason football. You know, we're, we're doing this for fun. We're doing this to, you know, get the videos out and entertain you guys. And hopefully you're entertained as you watch it. Um, but these picks really are to get the juices flowing and enjoy the games a little bit more. So take that for what it's worth. I got to say that right off the rip because we are, um, you know, making plays on games that... The starters couldn't play or all of a sudden the last minute a guy could sit out just because they're waiting for the regular season you never really know what's going to happen in a preseason game so uh i would feel you know i'd feel bad if i didn't just transparently tell you guys that but we do have some educated picks here so keep that in mind but uh, as of right now the total is 35 and a half and kansas city is getting a point here at home we do have one play on this and i'm going to keep an eye on this line right now i'm liking the over 35 and a half um in terms of what we've seen out of these th these c Jeez, I can't even speak this video. In terms of what we've seen out of these teams in the preseason, the Packers averaging a really consistent 20 and a half points per game. And the Chiefs, at least I'm hoping that they can do what they did last week, which is 24 points. If we see something out of that, we're looking at a total more around 43 to 40, meaning we blow this over out of the water. So we're going to lean the over 35 and a half in this one. But I am going to be watching that line because we've seen it already drop. What is that? Four points. I'm seeing if we can maybe go one more point, you know, in the next day or so. So keep an eye on the pin comment to see what we lock in at. But I do like the over in this one, over 35 and a half as of right now. All right, next game on the board. We got San Francisco playing Houston here. Um, the Texans are three and a half point dogs at home. The total is 41 and a half. And where I'm coming from here, I'm leading Texans plus three and a half and the under 41 and a half. Now we got two undefeated preseason teams going at it here. I don't know if you guys want to put any stock into that, but I have seen a little bit more of, um, I guess I would say a quality win last week coming out of the Texans the way that they played. Um, now, admittedly, didn't watch each snap of every single game, but I feel like I saw what I needed to see. I'm going to lean Texans here, plus three and a half points. I think that, you know, they're coming off of a better win um, against LA, I believe it was, and the the, the 49ers, uh, Minnesota seemed to kind of choke that one away there in terms of, you know, just not showing up. So that's where the plus three and a half comes from with uh, the Texans. Um, in terms of the under, 
these teams, surprisingly, I wouldn't have guessed if you were telling me the Texans and the 49ers have scored a decent amount in this preseason. Um, they have. They've been scoring a decent amount of points. So I'm hoping this last preseason game kind of switches things up and they have a little bit of a setback. Um, we made some money on some overs and unders last week, just kind of going off of the opposite of what the team did in the first preseason week. I'm um, kind of following that strategy. I think that one of these teams is going to have a major setback and the other one's going to have a minor setback. And we're looking at an under 41 and a half type game. Maybe we're looking at, you know, Texans keeping it to, you know, three and a half points, 17, 14. And we get the best of both worlds there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to lean the under here. 41 and a half for sure. Make sure to keep an eye on the pin comment. Like I always say for the final plays. Um, guys, before we get into the next game, I do want to talk about the NFL shop partnership that we have right now. If you want to check out the NFL shop, the official NFL store, pick up a jersey, a hat, a shirt, anything like that for your favorite team, head over, use the link in the description. We'll also put it in the pinned comment. Um, it helps support us if you do use that link and you also get a nice deal here. Free shipping on orders over $25. But uh, come on. I don't know if the NFL likes me telling you guys this, but the promo codes that we're giving to promote, that we're given to promote, aren't always the best promo codes that they have. So make sure to keep an eye on the uh, the banner when you head over to the website. The promo code may be even better than the one that you're getting that I'm telling you about. And uh, yeah, I've said that in the last three weeks videos since we've partnered with the NFL for this promo. They haven't said anything to me like, don't do that, Ev. So I'm going to keep doing it for you guys. But uh, yeah, guys, click on that link. Even if you do, you know, just want to browse around, clicking that link shows the NFL that we do have some traction here and it helps support our show. So uh, make sure to check out that link in the pinned comment and in the uh, description there as well. But um, we're moving on to the fourth game here or the third game here. Excuse me. We have Buffalo taking on Carolina. Buffalo, I'm assuming... They're not playing anybody as they are six and a half point dogs on the road here against Carolina. I'm going to lean 42 and a half um, over for the total here. Both these teams have either let up a bunch of points like the Panthers have. They've let up 20 plus points in each game and Buffalo is averaging 34 and a half points in this preseason. Now, I know not all things are consistent in preseason, but we're riding the wave while it's here. We're going to lean the over 42 and a half and I'm going to also lean Bills and this is this is a pretty light lean. Like if this is a full lean, we're kind of like right here. Leaning Bills plus six and a half, even if they're playing a bunch of nobodies. I think that they have the ability to keep this within a touchdown game or, you know, right around a touchdown game, I should say, with plus six and a half. So I'm going to lean Bills there plus six and a half. Um, I'll let you guys know if that becomes a final play. It'll be in the pinned comments, but that's what we're leaning in with right now. All right, we got Seattle taking on Dallas. Dallas four-point dogs at home here. And um, Dallas has let up... 30 plus points last week um, or sorry excuse me Dallas got it going by scoring 30 plus points last week and Seattle has let up 27 points and 32 points so my play here is Cowboys team total I don't have the line for that yet I'm hoping it's right around where it was I think last week if I'm not, not mistaken right around that 17 mark so keep an eye on the pinned comment for that update but I am looking to hammer this one because Seattle even in the preseason looks like they're not playing too too much defense and they're kind of getting picked up part here and the Cowboys after a bad preseason week one got it going last week so hoping to see a little bit more of that we're going with the Cowboys team total over 17 and a half if that is the line which I think it'll be around there somewhere all right fifth game that we're jumping into today we have the Chargers taking on the Saints um Saints three point favorites here in this one at home um and we you know <sighs> You guys are going to think I'm a lunatic for the plays in this game, but we like points in this game. It's preseason. It's going to blow up in my face, isn't it? I'm asking the betting gods out there. Don't let this blow up in my face, but I, in face, but I like points in this game. We got the Chargers team total over. We got the Saints team total over and the over in the total game there as well. Um, we don't have the lines for that, so keep an eye. I mean, I'm hoping that these are right around where I want to see them, but I am going to be leaning um, team total for all of these. Saints have let up 17 and 20 points, um, which isn't a crazy amount, but the Chargers 29 and 32 points let up um, that was to the Rams and the Cowboys and they've also scored 18 plus points in their two preseason games here so I like the team total for both teams and the over this could be a trifecta that truly hits for us but uh, you guys are probably looking at this going bro really really mute the music for a second 
It's a preseason game, F. And you have three plays on one game? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy, but we're having fun doing it. So uh, I do like that. Keep an eye on the pin comment for the final lines there. Um, last game that we have to jump into for today's video. We got New England in Las Vegas right now taking on the Vegas Raiders here. Um, and I like the under in this one. I think that we've seen both these teams kind of flip flop. So I'm hoping that continues as well as we look at these, um, these two teams playing. So Raiders scored 27 points in their first run or 26 points, then 27 points. And then all of a sudden 15 points and then the Patriots kind of a similar situation where you know they didn't look too great against the Giants and all of a sudden they look pretty good against the Panthers um look good against the Giants late I guess you could say but I would say that you know I'm hoping for this sort of like okay now a lackluster game from both of them leading to an under here of 37 and a half um but I'm gonna see if this moves because it has gone up a half point in about a day or so so we're gonna keep an eye on that but that is going to do it guys for these games again these are just the games for Thursday and Friday. We will have the August 27th, which is Saturday, and the August 28th, which is Sunday videos and either one or two more videos this week. So keep an eye on that and make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We are on our way to 11,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.